Hello, my name is Autumn. I'm the owner of Automakers Mini Pet Pigs. I am very passionate about putting out information that is going to help mini pig families, pet pig families all over the world. Today, I'm going to answer the question, do mini pigs like to be cuddled? I get this question a lot. And unfortunately, the answer is not black and white. What it depends upon is how the pig was handled or how much the pig was handled after it was born. And pigs have, just like people, they have very different personalities from each other. Um, some are more outgoing and curious and they're more likely to climb in your lap. Others are born just absolutely petrified and tend to put up a lot more fuss. So not only does it depend on where they're born and how much they're handled, but it depends on their personality and it depends on a couple of other things, how desensitized to their surroundings that they are. So if you have a pig or a piglet that you're bringing home that was very well socialized, handled a lot, carried and cuddled and, and brought in the house and wrapped in blankets and sat on the porch and in his porch swing and was able to have movement that way as well, then you are going to have a piglet that is enjoying the cuddling and loving the cuddling and wanting to climb in your lap. If you have a piglet that you're bringing home that was more in the middle, um, it was handled a little bit. Um, it likes scratches, but still maybe doesn't quite climb in your lap. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of help your piglet to learn to trust you because that's the issue. It's the trust. They need to trust that you're not going to hurt them. They need to trust that those belly rubs and those warm cuddles are going to be beneficial for them and it's going to feel good and they're going to like it. So there are things you can do like, um, learning to uh, build a deep bond with your piglet, piglet and you can do that by teaching them tricks. A great easy trick to teach from the right from the beginning is spin. It's an easy one. Or if you have one of those um, extendable pointers with a uh, a ball on the end, which people use as like a target when they're training their animals, um, you can buy them on Amazon for $7. They're very cheap, but they can, you can teach them to touch. And it's also a very, very easy thing to teach a new piglet. Um, you can teach them to come to you. You can teach them so many things they are so highly intelligent, but by doing this, by having little training sessions with your pig every day, they're going to learn to trust you because you tell them to do something, they understand it. And they know that if they do it, they're going to get that treat so that you're building a bond, you're building trust. Doing that is really instrumental to getting a pig to feel comfortable around you. Um, and the reason that I like using a target is because it can, it's extendable and you can, the piglet doesn't have to be right up against you. So they might not know you as well or trust you yet. So you can actually do that from quite a distance and, and still build that bond and that trust. Another thing that I like to do is I like to use another extendable tool, which is a scratcher. And at first they get freaked out because they don't know what it is, but as you keep going and you keep scratching their side or their rump or their neck and they like fall over, um, they love that. So again, that's another way that you can teach your pig that being physically touched and scratched is a good thing and they're going to like it. Also, um, you know, feeding your pig. Sometimes if I have a piglet or a pig that I'm working with that, I'm really trying to build a bond quickly. I will feed them their favorite treats or even their meals one pellet at a time through a crate or very close to them, even setting it on the floor. They know that every single piece of food is gonna have to come through me. And so that endears them to me a little bit more. If you have a pig that is more on the skittish side, then this is not the time to be parading in all your neighbors and friends and family because it's just going to scare your piglet more. If you have the patience, try to build that bond and that trust 
before you start doing those things, before you take your piglet anywhere, before you put it in a harness and a leash and try to take it for a walk, your pig has to know you and trust you first. So those things can really help if you have a piglet that is um, kind of medium, like they kind of like, but they kind of don't like, it, they're still a little bit more nervous. Now, if you have a piglet that was never handled, never touched, is absolutely petrified of people, then most likely what happened, your piglet was raised in a barn or in some kind of outbuilding. And the only time that they ever saw people was when they were being fed. So this is like, oh, this is so irritating. I've gotten piglets like this before and they're so loud because they don't understand when, when we bring them home and then they're in our house and they see us constantly, then they don't understand why they see us and yet, yet they're not getting food. They get frustrated and then they get loud and then they like kind of act like a fool <laughs> is what I call it because they act crazy and they can they'll ram the crate. They get so mad. Like, how dare you not feed me? I can see you. But again, that's because that for their whole life so far, that's how their life has been. I see a peer person, I get fed. I see a person, I get fed. There's no physical interaction. So when we have a pig like that, a lot of it is patience on our part. We have to be patient because it can drive us insane. I know I have been there. So when we have a piglet like that, we are teaching them so many things right off the bat. Number one, you see me, but you're not going to get food. Um, and then when you have a pig that was raised in a barn, barns are pretty, in general, they're pretty quiet. You know, there might be other animal sounds, but the piglets can't really see them or interact with them. So it's not super scary. They're used to those noises. But when you have a piglet that's raised in that environment, and then we bring it in our home, our homes are loud. <laughs> if you have children or people walking on the floor and those walking on a floor um, can send like vibrations through the floor and the piglet is not used to that, um, everything petrifies them. The sound of the TV, if you're talking on the phone, if you are talking to your family, um, slamming doors and running and pounding. And um, we are always running a fan in our house because we like to have noise. That's another thing that really freaks them out if they're not used to that. Um, just having any other noises is something that they have to be desensitized to, and it can take some time. So how do we get this piglet that has no socialization and no desensitization, how do we do that? And like I said, it takes a lot of patience, but two, it takes a lot of calmness on our part and not reacting to things. So Piglet is over in its area and it's screaming because it sees us and it wants food. What do we do? We completely ignore. We don't interact with them. We don't say, Shh, no, 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 stop it. No, stop it. We don't do that. Our, we, we do not speak the same language as our pig. When we tell them, no, stop it, they have no clue what we're saying. All they know is that things are escalating and now we are getting upset. And, and now there's a reason for them to be loud and afraid and panicking. And then they don't want to come near us even more. So the best thing to do is not um, kind of reward that behavior. We ignore it. We give them nothing. They get nothing from it. And so then after a couple of weeks, they're like, this isn't working. Let me try something else. What else can I do to get my food or to get attention or whatever they're seeking? So what we want to do also is we want to sit close to them calmly and quietly. And I am very animated with my hands. And so when I'm talking, even downstairs, if I have someone down there with piglets with me and I'm talking to them, I'm constantly moving my hands and my piglets are constantly scattering because it startles them. So try to sit calmly and quietly 
You can sprinkle some Cheerios around you, or you can have them eat their meals that way. You can maybe even put it in a treat ball and just be there while they're pushing it around. Try to be quiet. Try to talk to them nicely. You can still work on teaching them a trick like touch is a great one, like I mentioned already, because you can do it from a distance using an extendable scratcher. And some of them are pretty long, several feet long. So you can still scratch your piglet from a distance. Um, that makes them a little more calm. And then once they get to the point where the scratchers like the scratcher comes out and they get excited and you put it on them and they fall over then you can slowly, slowly creep closer and closer and closer. And then in the middle, take the scratcher away and then use your hand. By doing those things, baby steps, teeny tiny little baby steps, then you're going to build trust and a bond with your piglet so quickly. And then they are going to love to climb in your lap and get some cuddles. Now, in general, pigs really do love cuddles. They, even amongst each other, they're big cuddlers. They're big hog pile, <laughs> piggy pile animals. They they like to be tucked in and cozy. So yes, they really do like that. But in order to do it with us, they have to know us. They have to trust us. And they have to really understand the, like how great it is. I hope that this video is helpful. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. I try to put a video out every single week. And um, if you need help with your pig, whether it's a piglet, a, an older pig, it doesn't matter what issues you're having with it, please feel free to reach out to me. I do consultations with people all over the world and help them to understand their pig better, help them to be able to care for their pig with confidence. And um, if you need more information, you can go to my website, which is Autumn Acres Mini Pet Pigs at no, that's my email at gmail.com or just autumnacresminipetpigs.com is my website. Um, everything is in the notes below. And um, so yes, please reach out to me if you need anything. Hope this video was helpful and I will see you next time.